Now in this last tutorial we are going to add a color halftone to our colored background layer here. So I'm going to add it to my blue layer, which should be named blue, which should be named the color of your layer. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to add a color halftone and what that's going to do is turn this flat blue background into a bunch of dots and pixelate it. Uh, so to do that we're going to go to the filter drop down menu, pixelate, color halftone, and click that. We're going to change the max radius to 25, but you can experiment with the size if you'd like. So if you do one and you don't like it, just do a Command Z to undo. Go back and go into the filter drop down menu, pixelate, color halftone, and try a different number. Uh, you can also change the channels. Now the channel is your color, so it's uh, CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. So you can mess with those channels. Uh, to play with them. Uh, so go ahead and we're going to set it to 25. It's a good size and click OK and you'll see what happens to the background of your picture. Um, if you don't like how the dots look or what size they are, you can undo that. Let's try another one. Let's go to filter, pixelate, color halftone. Uh, let's try a little larger. Let's try 35 and click OK. Now your dots will become uh, a little bit larger. Once you are satisfied with your image, save it, Command S, and then print me out a copy. And when you're printing, you want to do a Command P to print. You want to make sure you set it up correctly. So if your photo is portrait, make sure your layout is clicked on this little guy here. This is our portrait orientation. If it's more of landscape, which means that it's wider, more wide than it is tall, you choose this little guy right here, which is going to set you up for landscape. Mine is a portrait, so I'm going to choose that. And then you're going to scroll down a little bit here and make sure scale to fit media is checked off. That's going to make sure we don't chop any of your picture off when we print it. Once all that's all said and done, go ahead and click print, and then you're all good to go. Print me off a hard copy. You only need to print one. Make sure your name is on the back of it and put it in the basket. Good job.